After occupation Nicaragua by American troops in 1925, Augusto Sandino tried to make a revolution, but he could not achieve good results and forced quit from Nicaragua. But his comrade Francisco Morena managed socialist rebel forces on territory of Republic. While to the cheers of the crowd, Sandino back in the country in 1929. Later in 19. 31 he organized uprising troops and shifted pro American president from the post. USA was insulted, demanded of remilitarization of East Coast of Nicaragua. Due to of a problem in the country, Sandina has accepted the demand. Thus began a new millstone in the history of Nicaragua. In the beginning of 19 36 president decided to conclude pact of friendship and cooperation with Republica Socialista de Mexico, and now the people of Nicaragua are not alone. As well, in this year will take place elections. Sandino and other candidates begin preparing. Expect Sandino on the election shout up two other candidates. First it is comrade Sandino and friend of peasant, Francisco Marena. He won't create isolation republic with prosperity for everyone and leading place of farmers. Second participant Juan Sacasa has support in urban uproar and in uh, remains of landlord. The most reactionary various. Third option it is Sandino himself, favorite revolutionary of Nicaragua people which have support in every layer in nation. After intense debate, won Augusto Cesar Sandino. In anticipation of election, someone outside what in Mexican power again in hand of militarist. Probably Nicaragua will remain alone. After inauguration, Cesar gave the order. Complete relay from the West Coast to East Coast. It is really good things, cause economic of Nicaragua are not united. But now, its innovation will become the locomotive of economic restructuring. A revolution spreading in the soft Africa happened socially scope, and our brothers request support by war with imperialists from intent and confession his government. Sandina sent military specialists in the soft Africa and insignificant humanitarian support. In 3rd October, two dictatorship crossed sword. Our north neighbors, Honduras and Salvador, begin conflict. Troops of Salvador army moved line of Honduras and occupied several villages. Government of Nicaragua didn't support anyone. It, it is picture shout us which there will be no peaceful solution. The 18th of October intervention in the South Africa failed. Our comrades won in the existential war and joined in international. Congrats, African brothers. Maybe we don't have big industry potential of our European friend, but we must support socialism in the world as true syndicalist. The 18th of December Sandina sends guns to the Spanish socialist. Although we have non-smooth relationship with Spaniards, but it mustn't stop spreading revolution around the world. Spaniards with delight accept gift. After a few years, politics and historian will name the 1936 year the calm before the storm. This year was productive. Economic of Nicaragua filled with, and we find the new friends. But it was really slow. Our country demand large changes. Oh, the changes were just ahead. The 2nd of May 1937, our forces started a special operation on the forced withdrawal of by American contingent. In the middle of May, we gave an order for our East brothers. 
by any means to expel of Americans. In the 4th of June we completely released our territory. July was really busy on good events. Firstly, we create embassy on territory Salvador. On territory Salvador accurate anti-military scope and power in the country received syndicalists. After one week, Honduras fallen too. The socialist uprising were not without an elegant hand of special service of Nicaragua. But uh, if not us, then who can explain a people about rights in his old reactionary government, who represented yourself as a patriot, but robbed your own people? Our comrade Juan Batista Sacasa, the old opponent of Sandino before new elections, went all in. He tried to make hope and to recreate in Republic capitalism. Sandito did not suffer traitors and joined in a brief struggle. After that, Sakasa was defeated and quit from socialist Nicaragua in Costa Rica. Yes, he didn't like Americans, but what prevented him to sell our country in hands of Germans or Canadians? stated President. Guatemala, like other northern comrades, has adopted a system of socialism. They sent their embassy and we were glad to see them. Sandino already wanted to start implementing a plan called liberation and announced partial mobilization. But need stopped him. It was like this. Our Caribbean partners were concerned about the reason for the strengthening of the intent in America. They want to create stronger ties between our country and the Caribbean and have provided us with a secret protocol designed as a trade agreement. But there is one detailed point in according to which participant must enter into a defensive war if the intent attacks any member. After much, though, the president accepts. 1st of February was marked by as the second reconquista in Spain. Our comrades took Gibraltar and Kingdom of Spain laid down their weapons. This day will become new holiday for everyone workers in Spain. The 26th of June has become the significant date. We and our brothers restored Central America. Maybe Costa Rica not with us, cause he selected big German lab dog. And someone will think that is the new confederation, a pathetic parody of that already weak country that broke up 98 years ago. But no. Every, from peasant to minister in the new nation, consider the new union will become a salvation from hand of capitalism and imperialism in America. After the debate and controversy between socialists of poor Republican committee did not come to the final choice. The votes were divided between old government of Costa Rica, presented as Party of Social Democracy and Party of Radical Socialist, Party of our old family, Cesar Sandino. After his last speech, Time Committee of Central America made the decision to do Sandino post of the president. The story about Central America doesn't end there. The country will face many challenges in the future, such as war with Mexico and deadlock in the Second World Reich. But our hero and his country will carry the banner of socialism till final victory. 